Hey, what's going on guys? So this week, I'm finally able to move my quarantine fish into the temporary display tank here. So we got the blue tang and the yellow pyramid fish that were in quarantine for a little over a month. So during quarantine, the only issue I saw was ick and it was on the uh, yellow pyramid fish and it was in the very first week when I got the fish. Treated for the ick and it's been ick free ever since. They also went through other deworming process, other bacterial, just to make sure that they're all clear. During the quarantine phase, both fish have been eating like pigs. Uh, they had no issues taking any of the food, to be honest. So today they get to move in the 55 gallon tank uh, for the mid to short term um, time frame here uh, until I get the new tank uh, for next year. Now what we're going to be doing is kind of just uh, stocking up on the fish uh, that I want for the new tank for next year. So since I only have a 10 gallon quarantine tank outside, I'm basically going to kind of just swap the fish in and out after quarantine. So I'll probably only keep like two to three fish at a time because I don't want to overstock the quarantine tank. So during the quarantine process, the yellow pyramid fish seem to be the most outgoing. Uh, it will always come up to the front begging for food. The blue tang, in the other hand, was a little bit shy. But when the food came out, it just went crazy and just ate everything uh, in the tank and just went berserk. So when I added these two fish into the 55 gallon tank, the only other two fish in here were the clownfish pair. And they normally just kind of hover in the left corner. And pretty much instantly the yellow pyramid was kind of swimming around inspecting a bunch of stuff. And then it started to kind of go up into the front glass expecting food. And what's interesting with the blue tang was I was expecting the blue tang to kind of go and hide. And it did for the first, you know, few hours. But once it kind of got acclimated to the tank, it started to come out. And as you can see here, since both of these guys were in the same quarantine tank for over a month, uh, they seem to be buddy-buddy, and the blue tang pretty much never leaves the uh, yellow pyramid. The next day, the blue tang was a completely different fish. It was super happy. It kept swimming, you know, from one end to the other, uh, playing with the wave maker in and out, um, chasing the, you know, butterfly fish. It seemed really, really happy. So again, this is going to be the temporary home. This is not going to be the permanent home. So the blue tang right now is only about three and a half to four inches uh, in length. So it still has plenty of room to grow. And also this tank right now is going to be plentiful for the fish uh, for the next few months. So for this week, I also bought some dried rocks so I can do some aquascape for the new tank for next year. Um, I'm going to take my time. I have plenty of time to do an aquascape. I have plenty of time to kind of come up with an idea. But so right now what I'm thinking is a really open concept. So this time around, I'm going to actually break up the rocks and kind of glue them together and try to make some structures. Right now, what I'm thinking is making, you know, some structures that are kind of tree-like uh, with a flat top. So that could kind of make it super roomy um, for some of the fish to swim under and around. I don't want to make it too uh, branchy, kind of like a bunch of like holes and nooks and crannies just because I'm going to be keeping anemones in here and I want to be able to, to get to them and pull them out if I need to. The other thing is I want to be able to see the fish. Um, some of these guys are going to be uh, slightly larger fish, so I don't want them to be hiding um, in the back too much. Thirdly, I want to try to do some SPS or some easy SPS or try to get into them. They do need higher pars. So I want to make the platform that they're sitting on kind of closer to the top of the water and flat enough so I can actually play some of these frags. So here are some structures I made. Uh, again, plenty of room on the top to actually add frags on top to let it allow it to grow. Also, the base is very nice and you know flat so it doesn't tip over or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just having some fun creating these structures. I really hope you guys enjoy this week's update. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe button. Stay tuned for updates on the new tank for next year. Uh, stay tuned for some of these uh, updates on the fish. Hopefully these fish are going to thrive in this current tank and along with the new one. Alrighty guys, peace.